guys, you ever been working in your PDM vault and as a PDM administrator, you see the file vault archives and you wonder what on earth could these hexadecimal based folders mean and how would I ever know if I'm able to troubleshoot a file? Then today's Q-tip is for you. So this Q-tip is going to require access to your server, access to Excel, and then access to SQL Server Management Studio. So in order to decipher what the hexadecimal based folders mean and how you would actually find files in your file vault archive requires a little bit of advanced knowledge. This Q-tip assumes that you already have some of the most basic fundamentals of PDM administration out of the way. Let's say that we have a file in our PDM vault. Let's go take a look at PDM. And we've got this file here. Let's grab the file name. Because right now, what we're seeing is a virtual representation of the PDM file that's really inside PDM. This is like the matrix. We're actually seeing the representation that we recognize. This is all of the parts that are in the contains tree. It's got a data card. It's got a preview, and it shows us what the thing looks like. Some of them may be configured to show an image or, you know, like a bitmap image, or others may actually show us the actual eDrawings view. Once we're logged in to SQL Server Management Studio, we would select the database that we're going to be working with. Now, in this case, we're working with Demo PDM. Let's go ahead and expand that, expand out the tables. Now, all of these tables are there for a reason. Do not ever go in and modify any one of these files. It will null and void not only your support, but probably null and void your database and your vault. Don't do it. <laughs> use either the API to access documents or use the interface inside SOLIDWORKS PDM. Don't ever make modifications to your database. Okay, that's the disclaimer. I'll move on. Let's open up a new query. We're going to determine the document ID of the file that we just selected, that we just, in our command window, we're going to do some SQL here. I've typed out the query for you. It's select the document ID from the documents table where the file name is equal to this file name that we selected a moment ago. Then we're going to click Execute. It's going to return us one record because there is only one record of this specific file in our vault because it keeps a unique identifier for every document that's inside your PDM vault. If you allow duplicate file names in your vault, you may have a little bit more trouble finding the specific document here, but this is the, one of the reasons why you wouldn't want to have duplicate file names in your vault. The document ID is 1265. This is where the magic starts to come in. We're going to need access to Excel, so we open up our handy dandy Excel. We don't need the full screen. Here's the interesting thing. We're going to take 1265, and that is the document ID. You don't have to do this. This is just what I do, just so that's for demonstration purposes. And then here, we're going to use a formula. Equals desk 2 hex, and then we're going to grab this cell right there, 4F1. That doesn't mean a lot to many people, but to PDM, it's the world. Now, one of the things that we want to take note of is the last character, the 1. The one tells us which folder in the file vault archives that we're going to go to first. That means that we're going to go to the demo PDM file vault archive because last week we shifted some of our file vault archive over to this other PDM vault folder, but the one still exists right here. So we're going to start with that one. And you'll notice that we have zero, 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 all these zero, but at the end you've got this one F1, one A01, one A11. This is hexadecimal-based numbering. So if we go back over here and we see the 4F1, what we're looking for is essentially 504F1. That's the folder that we're going to find this specific file in. If you're like me, you like to use the keyboard a lot. So I just navigated to the one folder, put my cursor on the first folder, and then I started typing 0000004, 000 000 000 000 000 and then I got to these folders. And then you can navigate down through here, and here is the folder that we're looking for. They should have document ID 1265 in it. Let's jump in. Okay, we've got one file in here, solid assembly, and it ends with a one. That just means it's version one. If we, we've got an index file, and then we've got a thumbnail. Now you saw the image of what it looked like a moment ago inside the eDrawings viewer. Let's look at this image. Can't really tell it very well. It's all it is is a thumbnail. If your PDM is configured to show thumbnail previews in your preview window, then your SOLIDWORKS PDM will create an image or a thumbnail of every one of the files that you navigate to inside your PDM vault. This is that thumbnail. This is what's shown 
in the preview window. The index.xml file is a file that just contains all the version information about that file. Now, a moment ago, when we were in SQL Management Studio, this was the file name we were looking for, and then this is the folder where we found it. This means that this file has two versions, version 1 and version 2. Let's go back to PDM and take a look at that. Version 2 of 2. Let's take a look at the history. There are two versions of this file, both from March of 2019, March 7th. The file was created, and then it was just checked in and sent to the initial state of CAD created. Let's go back to the index. The index says March 7th of 2019. This is where the information is tracked, and so where when PDM puts all of this together at the last minute, it's caching this file from the File Vault archive, where you see it right here. And it's getting the right version according to what the index says and what the database tells it it needs. And then it copies that version from this file vault archive to your local cache on your desktop. This is extremely technical and this is a very deep subject, but it's one that's very valuable to have. This is great knowledge for every PDM administrator to have so that you understand exactly what this PDM vault is doing behind the scenes for you. Back in the old days, we used to have to pull these things together manually, and that's how we did it, but they just automated that process using PDM's engine. Hopefully today's Q-tip has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and believe in the Q.